Hi, I'm Matt Williams, and I'm one of the evangelists here at Datadog. One of the challenges introduced with the use of containers is that they have such a potentially short lifetime. So configuring a monitoring solution to collect metrics from those short-lived IP addresses can be problematic. In this video, I want to show you how easy it is to use auto discovery with Datadog. I'll be using Docker labels, but this works with Kubernetes annotations, ECS, and other orchestration platforms as well. In fact, you can watch the auto discovery with Kubernetes annotations video right here. You can find the documentation about auto discovery here on the docs site. You can see that auto discovery has built in configurations for these applications, but it's easy to add other applications as well. So I'll load up a test application that's a simple guestbook. It stores each guestbook entry in a Postgres database and other stats in a Redis database. Looking at my Docker Compose YAML file, I can see those showing up here and here. The first thing I want to do is start up the Datadog agent in my Docker environment. To do that, I can simply add the Datadog agent container to the Docker Compose file. Now Docker Compose brings up my environment. When I exec the Datadog agent status command, I can see that Redis is already being monitored by my Datadog agent. That's because the agent container comes packaged with an auto discovery template for Redis. Running the agent's config check command gives us a little bit more information about what's going on here. The config section shows us that Redis is being monitored and that's because the Docker image used is called Redis. If we go over to the Redis DB folder in the integrations core repo, you can see that the autoconf YAML file is showing that any container based on the Redis image should be monitored with the Redis DB check. That's great, but what if you're building your own image rather than relying on Docker Hub's Redis image? Well, here I've updated the Docker Compose YAML file to build the Docker file in the DB1 directory. The Docker file only has a from line, so there's nothing really different about the image other than the name. Now, when I run up again, Redis is no longer being monitored. So let's look at how to configure this manually. When it comes to using auto discovery with Docker, there are three approaches. First, there are the configurations that already exist in the autoconf directory. Redis is one of these. Next, we can add other configurations to that directory on the agent's container. This means the developer has to create the YAML configuration files and tell the Docker file to load them. The third approach is to use Docker labels. I'm using Docker Compose, so I'll add it there, but I could also add the labels to the Docker file or as command line arguments as well. So open up the Docker Compose YAML file and edit the Redis database block. I need to add three service discovery lines under labels. These are going to be com.datadoghq.ad followed by check names. Here you must add a list of the checks that you want to run. Since I only want to run the Redis DB check, I'll enter Redis DB. The next line starts the same, but replace check names with init configs. I need an empty list here inside an array represented by an empty pair of curly braces inside a pair of square brackets. This is because the Redis DB check requires no configuration in this section. The final line replaces check names with instances. This is going to be all the options you usually add to your config files. For Redis, I want to set my host and my port. Now here's the real magic part of auto discovery. I can put in percent percent host percent percent and auto discovery will substitute this template variable with the IP address of any container it finds with the same name. The same goes for percent percent port percent percent. Note that it's formatted as a single line of JSON. Here you can see the source YAML for this JSON. It's worth noting that each value here is an array and each key is plural. In our example, we're configuring a single check, but we could configure multiple checks by including multiple items in our arrays. Here's an example set of labels for two checks. Now save the file 
Stop and remove the containers and run docker compose up again. Run the status command and pretty soon you should see Redis is being monitored again. You can add any other configurations you want with docker labels. Once you get the hang of it, it's pretty easy to get things going. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, reach out to us on our public Slack. Thanks so much for watching. Goodbye.